in this video I'm going to give an explanation on the read GTC information this will be the part one alright so before that if you would like to download our app there is a mobile app you can access in the laptop also you can download this the link has been provided in the description in the first comment alright so <coughs> yeah read GTC information part one so let's start with part one maybe in 30 parts we can complete it in can say daily one or two videos that is in 15 or 20 days we can complete the entire read GTC information if you would like to start from the scratch and if you want to learn each and every sub function in depth all right so purpose in this video it will be a very basic because you have to understand the base all right so the purpose is only one purpose okay so there is no other purpose for this service so there will be a lot of confusions like maybe this service is for useful for this uh, some task or other in other work or like a flashing and all so nothing so only one purpose let's see the purpose see uh, that's why i have mentioned the number so only one purpose retrieve and read fault and fault related information in the ecu one ecu or multiple ecus so either it may be emission related or non emission related what is emission related what is non relation uh, non emission related everything will be um, put together in the upcoming videos and one more thing if you have any doubts you can please leave a comment we can clear then and there okay so that the next video will be clear for you so what is related information okay, fault means you know like maybe some brake failure or uh, there is some uh, you know the misfiring in your engine the cylinders are misfiring or um, maybe some issue with some uh, control unit or some hardware issues or there may be some issue with the power train so a lot of so many issues we have so in that there may be some issues that is called fault all right then what is fault related information this is what fault what is fault related information so fault related information is nothing but say for example if there is some critical um, you know issues uh, issue occurred for example let me point out yeah say for example maybe there may be the failure with the airbag ACU in airbag there may be some some failure so when you are diagnosing we have to check what time it, it, it's failed actually or what, what fail it start to malfunction the malfunction time all right time in the sense time date whatever it may be everything will be stored malfunction um, time and the scenario for example whether the malfunction happened at the time of the vehicle is in driving or in a standstill or maybe in uh, off condition engine off in uh, whatever time it may be so there may be some physical damage also maybe there may be the rat bites or uh, if some natural calamities so whatever it is so you have to get the information so that is these are all the things called related information so the fault occurred so not only this also the whether the fault is active or not if it is passive uh, when it been when it become a historic i mean passive means a historic when it is it got historic and it is a pending or not means it may be after some cycles it will become active it may become uh, severe so these things will be discussing but as of now you understand related information means these are the related information like the fault scenario fault based scenario the occurrence of the fault and the fault status and um, the uh, yeah, again aging aging counter of the fault so everything can be comes under the related information so you can understand using the readies information you can retrieve the fault and related information all right so that may be again it, 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 fault means it both emission and non emission non emission okay so what are the fault Oh, yeah related information means what what it contains so what are all the fault okay so what are the different faults then status of the fault then other data related to the fault again other data what is other data so these are the data so status means it is active or not this one this point active or pending or it may become historic then other data means this one driving or standstill or in engine off or the time of ignition start maybe due to high supply high power supply there may be some fluctuation maybe in dc you will not get a fluctuation but just i can give you a small example all right so maybe at the time of uh, ignition start say for example most of the so few issues uh, you know it is recommended to uh, switch off the um, uh, things say for example a multimedia player or a few things you have to switch off when you are turning on your ignition but nowadays the issues are comes with some um, the um, some of the uh, you know uh, fuse related stuff so there won't be any issues but still so even at the on time also ignition on time also there may be some fault 
uh, occurrence is possible then what are the false so these are all the related information so you should be clear only these three are the related information and read for related information. that's it all right then so these can be as of course we have this uh, fault and related information so these how these can be achieved with this we can retrieve so that by using 27 sub functions we have 27 different sub functions so the sub function is not only for retrieving this so this is the main uh, goal uh, but if if something is failed like for example if you clear this if you clear the diagnostic engine and clear these DTCs, what would be the backup? Even that also has been inside the service by using different sub function that is 27 sub function. So we'll have we'll start to learn all these sub function in our playlist. I've created the dedicated playlist for this. All right. So from the next video, we will start with the one service and each and every service will will try to learn few uh, terminologies like the active or pending or the status of DTC everything. Okay. So it will be very helpful and useful and yes, if you really interested to continue this playlist You can hit a like or leave a comment. It will be helpful for us to you know Find the area of the interest and to proceed. So that's all about this video once again if you are interested to Download our app. Yes, you can download it here There are so many free contents and if you are preparing for the ISTQB examination Also, we have so many free tests around 20 plus free tests are there So once you are clearing this those tests, then you can go ahead for your examination So not only the basic foundation level also we are adding up the other levels So it will be helpful and that's all about this. We'll get back to you in the next video <laughs>